Good morning, guys. We're going to do a little holiday morning routine. I thought that'd be kind of fun. It's not very different from my normal one, but... We'll just enjoy some cozy vibes. These are my sleeping PJs. There's definitely a difference between sleeping PJs and lounging PJs because I can't sleep in pants. It's too hot. So in the morning, I'm freezing right now. I have to change into my lounging PJs. But these are from American Eagle. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. But good morning. I've actually been up for like 40 minutes or so. And I just did my morning skincare and then I got back in bed and I was just like scrolling and watching Vlogmas in bed. It was quite fun. So... Morning skincare is done. My cheeks just hate me right now, but yeah, let's get ready for the day. filmed like a workday one though so I guess this will just kind of be like a chill weekend morning routine if you will but I slept in obviously I slept until like 8 um and now it's like 8:55. and like I said I was just kind of like sitting in bed and watching vlogmas and just like on my phone answering emails and stuff something I've been doing is giving myself a present to wrap every day because I love wrapping presents so much so presents every morning but I've been kind of stretching it out because I really just enjoy wrapping presents with like a show or a movie on so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you guys my like holiday go-to coffee and that's honestly pretty much it um, this is my ice roller. It's from Amazon. Sometimes I'll do like a little eye mask situation, but I'm trying to keep it really minimal on my skin right now because my skin hates the winter. We do not thrive in the winter. So I'm just keeping the products super minimal right now. But I've been filling up my Stanley like the night before and then leaving it in the kitchen. That way I can kind of sip on it when I'm making my coffee. 10 on 10 idea, honestly. And I try and drink like at least half of it because it's like what, 30 ounces? Yeah, at least like half of it or most of it or all of it before. But I'm going to show you guys how I've been making my coffee. So yummy and perfect for the holidays. Honestly, so many ambiance music channels on YouTube. Um, and like I said, some mornings they'll start the day off with a vlog, but today I just want to get some work done. But this morning I'm just going to like reply to some comments, answer some emails, kind of catch up on the business before like Christmas holidays. So that is the plan for the morning. gonna go ahead and get ready for the day because we're gonna head out to do some fun Christmas errands so I'm gonna curl my hair and like do my makeup and stuff and then we will head out on a fun little Christmas adventure I'm so excited okay guys I know this is not a great angle but it's fine I just stopped and got some fuel for our Christmas adventure I will never understand why 
Irish cream is on the holiday menu. But I'm not complaining because Irish cream is one of my favorite flavors of all time. But cheers. I also forgot to take my zip patch off my chin. So if you see that, we're just going to pretend she's not there. But the plan for our little adventure today, I'll take you guys through. I plugged it all in on my map so I can make sure I'm going to the right spots. So first we're going to go to HomeSense and Marshalls because I want to pick up some more um plates for christmas just because we are hosting christmas eve which is like kind of a new development in the holiday season so that's really exciting so i just want to get some more um plates for that and i think that's one of my favorite things about the holiday season is there's so many stores to just walk around like you don't have to buy anything i just love to walk around stores and with that being said we are also going to go to the tinseltown emporium which i've never been to it's ottawa's like year-round christmas shop and like I said, you don't need to buy anything. I think these stores are just so fun to just walk around and just like get into the Christmas spirit and just be kind of immersed in, in the holidays. So we're gonna go there as well. And then I do have to get some last minute Christmas presents today. Last minute, it's the beginning of December, but you guys know I try and be done my Christmas shopping really early. So we're gonna go to some local stores. We're gonna go to Purple Urchin and we're gonna go to Maker House, I think. I think we'll wrap some presents. And then later we're gonna go to Magic of Lights, which is so fun. It's the drive through light christmas light experience in ottawa and we're gonna go with um matt's brother and my sister-in-law and our two nephews which is so fun head out on our christmas shopping adventure together just changed into something a little bit comfier not that the romper is not comfy but like it's just a pain when you have to go to the bathroom so I have on this like dark green kind of like Henley it's like a thick Henley from Old Navy last year but guys I scored today I'm so excited this year especially for the holidays I kind of started in the fall but I was really intentional about the things that I wanted to bring into the house for the holiday season for decor and really just like take my time to curate a timeless collection of pieces that I'm gonna love every single year because I'm just kind of over the over consumerism with like holiday not shopping but just like the decor I feel like social media is very two-sided like there's the people that reuse a lot and then there's the people that think you need a whole new decor style every single year and I'm just really into curating a home that has like timeless pieces so I'm really really excited about the things that I got at Tinseltown I did get a Christmas present so I'm not gonna show you guys that uh, I feel like a vintage Christmas is making a comeback and I just feel like vintage pieces are very timeless. I squealed in the store when I saw this. This is a holiday taper candle holder with a winking Santa. Are you freaking kidding me? How timeless and beautiful is that? I'm obsessed. I also went to Maker House. Like I said, they're just like a little boutique that has a lot of like different Ottawa small businesses in it. And I got all presents. So I can't show you guys that. Then I went to HomeSense and I scored. I don't know where to put this. So I needed more wrapping paper. So I'm going with like kind of a, I wouldn't say rustic, but like the, what's that called? Like just like this color wrapping paper. Um, and I wanted to have some print as well because I think we're gonna run out for sure So I grabbed this one which I just like I said, I love that the vintage Christmas is making a comeback This is so cute. Just has like some Santa Clauses on it. I love it But I saw this like are you freaking kidding me you guys look they had a bigger one too, but like look oh My gosh I'm obsessed but I'm not gonna use it for a present. I'm actually gonna put it, I think, on the table with some chocolates in it, especially for when we host. Um, I'm, how many times am I gonna say cute and obsessed? But I'm cute and obsessed. I wanna try my hand at like making cute gifts, which we'll see how it goes. So I just picked up some red twine. This is huge for like six bucks. It'll last me quite, I mean, quite literally years. I need to pick up some gift tags. I have stickers, but I want to grab some gift tags. And look, I really want to use the red one. It's a Santa mail. And then it also comes with stickers, which is like awesome. Because obviously they don't go bad. You can just keep them for years. When I tell you 
First of all, there's a lot of squealing happening today. And I know they're candles, like I'm gonna burn through them, but like, there's Santa Claus taper candles. Oh my gosh, look at them. Are you joking? These are so cute. So, love that. Super excited about all of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and probably just chill for a little bit. And then we'll see, I guess, where the afternoon takes us.